Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man playthrough where I'm uh, trying out the mod. So let's go for Operation Buried Gasp where we are hacking a resistance computer uh, mainly to get Intel and an Intel package that's super helpful. We're having a heavy barrier, so unique defense system will not allow us to really use Psionics or hacking, which means Matt Shooter Casita will be m mad angry about that. Um, he will definitely have a harder time affecting others, but that's okay. We're fighting against 19 to 21, properly infiltrated, so we're actually ready to go. And these are the Ultramarines. One of my uh, favorite swats because it has death knell in them the um, the leader of the squad uh, SWAT, uh, the Primarch who is uh, Who's just super action efficient? I like skirmishers. Uh, they are fun in long war. Let's go Okay, we landed so That's a pretty sizable map for just eight turns Let's try to move as far as we can. Enemy patrol on the move. Mm-hmm. Will do. Moving quickly. All right. Um, how about you? Begin to move over here. No need to ask twice. And Namri moves over there. And finally, Zubuger. Roger that. Tries to stick with the team as good as uh, he can. Well, wonderful. Got a group of hostiles over here. We're all one lovely big family. Luckily, Fuse can help us with a great uh, pull here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good hit. Could that be a kill? Maybe. Let's try. Let's try. Okay, not bad. I like that. But I also like that. Cool. That's two for one. Mech is very low. Efficiently moving up. Moves to here. Hits him once. And I would like to kill him. Come on. Very good. It is clear. This may be painful. like to start the evac as soon as possible. Roger 
Lousy loot. Not really good. Okay, we still got a scout. I think that was a good start. Got one and a half packs. Looks like they called in some friends. Oh, wow. Reinforcements already. I think the reinforcements might be due to the high vigilance level. That's really, really menacing. Let's check. If Sukugor finds something. Got some hostiles grouped over here. Okay, let's try to ignore these. I hope it's worth it. And Andrew of Zell. Stays over here as well. Scanning. Scanning. Overwatch. What? We're get <laughs> what? We're getting an advanced um, advanced captain. And a super heavy mech. Well, it's not super heavy, but it's a heavy mech. Looks like they called in backup. Wow. Armor still holding. Look at that. We need almost our entire arsenal just to get uh, this guy down. It's ridiculous. Like seriously. Their armor stands. I did nothing. What's over there? Great, and I just thought we would make progress. Okay, so I got one. Ready to go. He needs to reload soon. But unfortunately we have too many enemies uh, to do that. Crazy. Just plain crazy. Let's try to kill. That's a kill. We need to reload. Which becomes the main issue here. The regular reloading.
Good, that's a kill. I need all of my abilities just to stay uh, to uh, to get the enemies down. Eat this and suck on it. Okay, let's carefully take a look here. Nothing. Good, well, we okay. Well, they must have been, uh, they must have been lured by the whole explosions. Let's stay there, please. To, to do something with implacable here. Hmm. You don't need a grenade, I don't think so. Let me just need to not pull this pack. Good, that's one down. I would love to reload, so if we could do that, that would be fantastic. Not a problem. By the numbers. I think we cannot just reload. But we can do that. to here. Let's do this. Massive enemy pack. Almost, almost got them down. Do 
two, four. Mm -hmm. Might be a kill. It is. Might be another kill. Lots of explosives. that I really think we would get something. Sorry, got interrupted once again, so I uh, forgot to immediately hit record. We fuse killed uh, him and then did a mines, uh, um, a soul fire. I think we can move up, then uh, hand over an action. Yep, and get everybody out of here. Overwatch, Overwatch, Reload, and Overwatch. Come on. What a massive pack. Damn it. We've been spotted out. a second time firebrand says it's time to go then it is time to go just double checking for something real quick Absolutely. Uh, I hope we can destroy the wall here I take that as a yes and should allow us to see through the wall, right? Right, okay. Just making sure that we're not having any weird line of sight issues. Moves to there. Hands over combat presence, like a real pro. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we're not getting the purifier. Anyways, doesn't matter. Wow, 
What a stupid mission. <laughs> that was absolutely insane. They, the pack even ran into us. We took a slithering shot from the side. Luckily, I run the shinobis uh, with minus two crit chance so we could have easily lost uh, the shinobi there and then we needed to just run out well the ultramarines did very very well on this mission and 13 days that's pretty much wor uh, worth it to get the mission Light him up is a good ability. It allows to take a shot and then hit. I like what I'm seeing. In the meantime, here we're going to take rapid fire. Could take um, dedication, could take in fighter for extra dodge um, in case we're getting close could also use a pistol not sure yet Namri Salvo could give her more actions to do volatile mix ah, that is good volatile mix is actually really good because the uh, once the effect tile is plus one, that means more people are being affected uh, by it. But I think I'll go for Salvo. I like action economy. Granted, you can then lob two grenades and it just uh, means you're running out of grenades faster. But the way that I'm calculating it is uh, you can lob a grenade and then also uh, shoot afterwards, so it's not that bad In terms of sniping right that is good hunter's instinct Precise shot with a bonus to stun duration if the shot crits Stuns enemy for two actions if the shot hits Stuns it for two actions if the shot crits on top of it. Five turn. Hmm. Not, it's not bad against bigger targets, I guess. But on the other hand, we want to be the one cleaning up, so I need more damage. And I think we need lightning hands just so that we do have more damage. And Casita can level up, that's good. Uh, stasis, very helpful, thank you. Good, another shinobi almost done with his training. What I'm wondering is, do we ha even have shinobis at the moment ready for training? The answer is no. So what are we going to do with all of that training? Psy operatives already have so much to do that the whole training thing wouldn't really benefit them. Which means at the moment we do have a training slot open. Might not be the worst thing ever, but um, as you know by now, I am a stickler with uh, the training. Setting course for Indonesia. Okay, we got money. And with that money, I would like to purchase upgrades.
Very nice. All right, without it, we're at like what? 16 days. With the scientists, we're reducing it by four, right? That's massive. That is massive. Really, really good. Okay, 16 scientists were, were good. I don't regret any of that. Thank you, laboratory. Coming in at July is maybe a bit late, but good. Better late than never. Could go for some faster healing or we are continuing to get into or uh let me check the black market real quick they are very interested in viper corpses they shall have them I'll keep the cores. We're storing them. Although we can sell a couple of them. Good. Before I'm sc scratching together the rest, um, we would have a specialist here and another sharpshooter. One of the few ways of expanding our roster. So that's good. We're down to 130. I don't think that we can uh, make it to five uh, to 350. Not without selling stuff that I actually would like to keep for now. The Vi I'm not sorry about the Viper corpses. That's fine. Let me look at the new recruits. <laughs> the invisible straw man, aka argument. Yep, he got drafted and became a healer. Appreciate it. Interference, very good. Field surgeon, not bad either, but I think we're taking that and medical protocol. Let me do all of this real quick by myself. Okay, did all of uh, the work around uh, the soldiers and uh, prioritized incendiary grenades because I just realized my estimate about the grenadiers might be unfair because realistically all I'm giving them is flashbang grenades and normal grenades and I haven't even used the sting grenades which is the improved version of flashbang grenades uh, much lately so we're we're really just using the very first grenades and are kind of judging the class by that and that's unfair so we need uh, proper grenades and we do have quite a few um, of the purifier corpses okay so whilst all of this here is infiltrating what are we going to do with our time there is definitely a little bit more contact that I would want to make, but we don't yet have the money. We have some supplies, but not many. Um, supply, supply drop is far off. So I think the expansion at the moment came a bit to a grinding halt. This here is an option, 130 into. Um, yeah. Could do that to further expand I don't know could also heal how many soldiers uh, would need healing two and one of them is almost done yeah not worth it not worth it. The infirmary was a good investment. A 
And temporary hit points or ablative hit points, they are a good investment. Formidable as well as just upgrades in uh, the overall hit points. Hmm. Nine days. Might be able to tackle that super heavy resistance, but what's the baseline? 21. Okay. They are quite tired at the moment. Going with the ultramarines. Salamander still infiltrating. Seven days tired, and this would require about seven days of infiltration. 12 days wounded. And there is uh, some, uh, something that's just taking two hours to infiltrate. Let's see. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's do this mission first. Once that's done with infiltration, then we are okay. There we go, fully infiltrated, now needs to launch. That's going to happen the next time. There is Ender Ascenders is available to be recruited. Um, got definitely not a Psy operative. Got some good average stats across the board. So let's get him. And I think Enders might become a Grenadier because we don't have that many. Or let's see, another specialist might be a good idea as well. How many specialists do we have? We got one, two, three, four, five, a sixth one in training. Uh, maybe we'll make him a specialist. Maybe we'll make him a specialist. On the other hand, we only have three grenadiers, so having an additional grenadier really would be helpful. They were a little bit the unloved stepchild of this campaign. But incinerary grenades are coming through at some point, so then that hopefully will improve. I'll think about it. At the moment, we don't need to make that decision because uh, the training will take five more days. Enders will either be a grenadier or a specialist. That's as far as I have uh, taken it. Um, and that brings us to the end of today's episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Really, truly appreciate that. If you enjoy the series, then continue to um, like and, uh, and con comment down below is what I meant to say. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.